Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Today in this lecture I would like to explain about the instrument which is called as a dial indicator. So basically the construction and working of dial indicator, how it will be used for the measurement science and this indicator that will be used as a comparative measurement with the different length, different height or you can say with different aspects. So basic theory about the comparative measurement or you can say the comparators it will be in my previous lectures so you can find into my description so the link that will be given into descriptions so now in the case of the dial indicator so let us see the structure or so here that will be the outside structure of dial indicator and basically the basic mechanical movements of using and that will be as a indicator so that will be called as a inside view of the dial indicator so let us see the starting with the contact point so this one is a contact point basically physically in contact with the measured surface or measured job so actually that particular movement of this contact point with respect to change of the dimensions suppose this one is the initial and second one that will be the chain so that change according to that changing that will be deflected onto the indicators so how that will be going to be changed just you can see so this contact point it will be connected with the plunger so by the changing of that particular dimensions that plunger it will be up and down so that will be making a vertical reciprocating motions and and uh, another end this plunger that will be having a facility with the rack so here that will be the rack is formed onto that plunger so that will be called as a rack mechanical system so that rack it will be connected with the pinion so according to that motion of the rack this pinion it will be going to be rotated so by the rotation of the pinion that pinion is connected with the gears so first rack that will be connected with the pinion and this pinion that will be connected with the gear mechanism so just you can concentrate by the changing of the dimensions this contact point it will be deflected according to that deflection plunger that will be reciprocate onto that vertical axis and one of the end of the plunger that will be the formation of the rack teeth so according to that rack and pinion so that reciprocating motion it should be converting into rotary right so that will be the basic mechanical concept it will be using for the indication so this reciprocating motions now that will be converting into the rotary first that will be by the pinion and that will be connected with the gear so this pinion and gear it will be rotated right and just you can see that gear and pinion mechanism it will be once again connected with the another pinion gear mechanism and one more this pinion gear mechanisms it will be connected onto the pinion on which main pointer is being connected so by the deflection or you can say up and down movement of that particular contact point these all are rotating according to their connectivity so finally so that pointer that will be attached onto this pinion so the pinion on which the main pointer is being connected so according to that movement this will be rotating according to these rotations this will be rotating and according to that it will be rotating suppose this one is the pointer right so that will be the pinion is also connected with the gear mechanism whenever that will be the disconnections so by the application of this load or you can say hair spring once again it will be in your initial positions so that will be the application of the hair spring for the once again that pointer it will be into the initial you can say rest conditions 
and one more thing that will be the coil spring so with the application of coil springs whenever that will be in disengaged positioning with respect to your major surface once again it will be into the stable conditions so that will be indication of the zero zero readings so basically this dial indicator or you can say dial gauge that will be the amplifies the length or you can say length displacement or any kind of change of the dimensions or you can say positions of that particular components it should be measured onto the rotational scale or you can say onto that particular circular scale so here by the construction of the dial indicator this linear movements that will be measuring into the circular movements so that will be basic construction about dial indicator now we will see how it will be works for the different components so basically this dial indicator simpler than another applications or another instrument such as the vernier micrometers and the plug gauges so you should find into many of the workshop from the small scale to medium scale to high scale as well as into the precision measurements such kind of instrument is being used so the basic movement for the measurements purpose and that will be the first transmits the signal to the spindle to the pointer then this pointer it will be converse the reciprocating motion of the spindle into the rotary motion so suppose this is my one of the diameter in between chuck and tail stock suppose there will be some any deflection like this so that will be having a reciprocating motions so that will be deflected so according to that change into this dimensions of that particular shaft onto the lathe machines so you should also find for the alignment test of the different kind of machines so that will be deflected so according to that deflections onto the vertical scale that will be reciprocating motions it will be converting into the rotary motions then it amplifies so from this pinion and gear that will be the amplification durations so that rotary motions of the pinion and gear it will be amplified and that will be connected with the small pinion with the pointer facility so according to that calibrations that will be onto the indications so basically three first that will be in physical contact with the workpiece so it will be generating the reciprocating this reciprocating it will be converting into rotary and rotary that will be into the amplifies and that will be onto the measured standards now we will see for the different applications of the dial indicator let us see so here our dial indicator with the application of the stand that will be attached onto the surface plate so this one is considering as our so this magnetic stand it will be mounted onto the surface plate and initially according to my measurement of the dimensions that will be given by the standard dimensions first i would like to connecting with the standard measuring jobs or you can say with the application of the linear measurement standard so basically for the so first of all just you can set the number of slip gauges so according to my this figures that will be the slip gauge number 1 2 3 4 and 5 here that will be the five slip gauges is being used and according to these five slip gauges so that will be the total length or you can say total length that will be the addition of 
स्लिप गेट नंबर वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव सो डेट विल बी द टोटल लेंथ यू कैन एडजस्टिंग विद द डायल इंडिकेटर सो डेट विल बी डायल इंडिकेटर इट विल माउंटेड ऑन टू द स्टैंड एंड हियर डेट विल बी द इंडिकेशन ऑफ द डायल इंडिकेटर एंड हियर डेट विल बी द कॉन्टेक्ट पॉइंट so at initially for this height suppose that will be the height x so for this height x that will be having some indications so first reading with standard or you can say standard length gauges so that will be the first reading now this slip gauges that will be replacing by our components so now this green color it will be the indication of the work piece just you can see so that much amount of height or you can say length delta x that will be increasing so according to that particular change so here that will be the total height of the slip gauges now that will be replacing by our work piece so this green color indication that will be called as a actual measurement or you can say measurement for the work piece so according to its height that will be having a some addition of the delta x distance so according to that delta x change of that particular change into the dimensions it will be indications on to the dial indicator so suppose that initial conditions it will be into this now for that delta x change it will be having a such kind of deflections so that deflections it will be indications on to the dial indicators so basically with the help of dial indicator you should measure up to the 0.01 mm deflection so that will be having a accuracy of 0.01 mm into the change of the dimensions so basically what is the purpose of the measurement just you change the change with respect to your standard measurement so here standard measurement that will be the x distance so here the measurement only with respect to the dx measurement with respect to this x so each and every comparators that will be give only change with respect to the standards so this is the one kind of measurement or you can say indirect measurements or you can say as a comparator using as a dial indicator so that will be having a maximum application you can find into the any machine shops or you can say any measurement science so most of the alignment testings you can performing with the help of dial indicators so there are so many kind of advantages so let us see so first one by the application of this dial indication you can compare the height of the two components as we discuss how we can measure the height suppose that will be the job a and job b so you can easily comparing which one it will be having a higher side for this movement of that particular dial indicators so it is used for determining the errors into the geometrical forms or you can say the ovality roundness check tapering then some more applications you should find or you can say you can use to take the accurate measurement of the deformations in the tensile compression testings of the materials so that will be all applications regarding to the dial indication uh, indicator and basically for the alignment testings of the machines into the measurements also so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much